Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVNet video series on binary tree interview question series and this video is about converting a binary tree into a sum tree. So let's see what is sum tree and then we'll see how to create this or write this program. Okay. So let's suppose this is your given tree from this given tree will create a sum tree. So sum tree is nothing but modifying your original tree in such a way that the parent node will have summation of the child node. I'll repeat this again. You will modify this tree in a such a way that the parent node will have the summation of its children nodes. And what do I mean by that is if you see this, a doesn't have anything in the left and right, right? So we'll keep zero for that position. Okay. So this will have zero. And similarly, this four also doesn't have any left and right. So summation of zero and zero is like zero. Okay. So we don't know how to show this now going to this one or let's try to understand it like this. You have this a, you have this B and this C. So here value would be B plus C. You will store B plus C at this location. So eight minus four here, you will have four, but you will return to this node a plus B plus C. So, B plus C is this new value, right? Meaning you will send older value, which was minus two C older value and the new value, which is B plus C because this was B and C, right? So B plus C plus A, which is this A will go to this guy, meaning to this guy from left hand side, actually similarly apply to this uh, eight and four also, but there was nothing here. So let's consider this as a zero. So now if you will consider this as a and this one as B and this is as C, then as I told, this will be B and C, right? So B and C are zero and zero. That's why this place is zero. And the parent of this would be a plus B plus C, right? So this zero is B plus C and eight is a. So that's why we sent eight from here. So the same thing will apply to each and every node you will store whatever you received from left and right hand side inside this node or your current node and you will send back the value with your new value what you stored in this plus the old value. That's it. So if we construct this whole thing it's going to look like this. We have this one and then we will send back all of these three. Okay. Because we are sending a plus b plus c. So if you add all these things, you will end up having two. So you are sending two from left and I will keep this empty. We'll go here, meaning we are going here and then we'll go here and here from here you will make, okay, I'll keep this also empty. This will be zero and this is also going to be zero because this seven also don't have anything in the left and right. So zero plus zero is zero. You will store zero inside this and you will send back seven plus zero plus zero. So which is seven. So you will receive seven here from here and you will receive five from here. So six is already there. So seven plus five, 12, and you will send back 12 plus what was there already six. So you will send 18 here. Now you have got two from left and 18 from right, which is 20. So this is your newly constructed sum tree from the given binary tree. So this is very simple code. We just pass the root here, which is 10 and we check if this is null pointer, we'll just return zero. So this is this zero, what we will get from here and here, right? I told you we'll get zero and zero. So this is that zero. And before updating, see, we have this left call and right call. So I told you, right, your current node will be addition of left call and right call. And you will send back your current value plus left and right. So this previous value, which is eight is stored here. We have eight here. Now we have just stored it temporarily. We'll replace this root data with this left and right, whatever we got it. So we received zero from left and zero from right. So we got zero, right? And we will return your current data with the old value plus old value. I mean, 
then that is going to be 8. So you will return 8 from here to this guy. This guy will receive 8. Similarly, this guy will receive minus 4. So 8 minus 4 is minus 4. So you will have minus 4 here. And I don't have to explain this like how recursively you go and then how you will hit in the end, right? Because you should be knowing this by this time. And if you don't know this, then you seriously like the basic knowledge behind binary tree or any tree or how you recursively traverse trees. So you should consider watching my introduction video about this binary trees and trees. Then you will be able to understand these things so quickly. Trust me that it is very simple, right? You just update yourself with whatever you got from the left hand side and the right hand side. And when you are going to return, you just return your previous value plus your current value. That's what I always explain, right? So you will replace zero here because it is like from left and right, you're getting zero, but you will send back this zero plus this zero plus eight. So that's why it is going eight here. So the actual point is why it is called some tree because it will hold the value at each node. Like what are the sum for their children? Meaning if you will sum this six or for this matter, we know this. So if you're looking for the sum value for this particular region, then the value would be addition of eight plus addition of minus four. That's why you are getting, oh, sorry, this should be four. Okay. Not minus four. Sorry. And that's why I told you, if you're going back from here, you will be eight plus minus four plus minus two. That's why you were sending two here. Remember? And we were sending 18 here. How? We were adding five plus seven plus six. That's how it becomes 18. And why this was 12? Because seven plus five is 12. So each and every node will have the addition of or the total sum of their children's and why all these leaf nodes are zero because their children's are zero. That's why they are all zero in a sum tree. Okay. They all are zero here. So I'll just quickly draw this again. This is your 20. This is 12. This is zero. This is zero. And if, uh, if I want to put this in bracket eight plus minus four. So this value, which is gone right now with this value, which is minus four. Now we can see this, right? So eight and minus four. So this is the addition of this one. This is nothing but eight plus minus four plus minus two, meaning just remove this plus here. It is foolish to have like this. Yeah. From here, you're getting this. And for this guy, you have seven plus five. And for this guy, you are getting six plus seven plus five. So if you will add this one and this one, you will get 20 here. So if you see 20 is the summation of all the nodes. Cool, right? This is called sum tree. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.